Thank you for joining Wars of the Rosies. And this is Mysticism as Related to Religion by G.J. Wind. An article from Rosicrucian Digest, Volume 49, Number 3, March 1971. Mysticism as Related to Religion by G.J. Wind. The mystical approach differs from the theological approach in that theology concerns itself primarily with spiritual values and leaves the material values to the sciences. It may be well to point to the very distinct difference between theology and the many forms thereof, such as religions and their many subdivisions. Generally speaking, religions and their sects are as much concerned with the material as with the spiritual aspects, often to a degree where the spiritual suffers considerably because of an overemphasis on the material side, usually wealth and political influence or mundane power. This is contrary to theology, which is solely concerned with knowledge of God, gained through an understanding of his works and his laws as man perceives them in his creations. However, mysticism and theology have some basic aims in common. Both strive for a better understanding of the relationship between creature and creator, or, to be more specific, between man and his God. Theology as such is mystical in origin and in principle, for fundamentally theology, the scientific approach of, for example, mathematical calculus cannot work. In dealing with spiritual values, psychic experience is the only teacher and, as this is a personal thing, theology has assumed the tremendous task of interpreting personal psychic experiences and feeding such interpretations to the masses who look for theology for guidance in spiritual affairs. It is very difficult for one to explain his personal experiences, and it is just too much to expect that it will be understood exactly as it was experienced. This difficulty has resulted in a vast number of religions, each with a multitude of variabilities in religious doctrine. In the Western world, we have but to look at the predominant form of religion, Christianity, to note the tremendous variety of beliefs within one faith. Yet, fundamentally, they are one. Though few will readily admit this, so too the differences between the great religions of the world today seem to be worlds apart. Yet, basically, they are one, at least to the mystic. To him, the one form of religion is no better than another, only different in doctrine. All have the same basic aims but travel different roads towards the same goal. This is only natural for all to proceed towards the goal from their peculiar vantage point. Since not all start from one and the same point, the roads or means of travel differ. The mystic examines these different roads and where the diverse religions find potholes and barricades on each other's paths, the mystic finds useful stepping stones in all of them. Whereas religions are followings of some individual's personal experiences interpreted over and over again. The mystic values his own personal psychic experiences above the interpretations of others. He is skeptic of dogmatic assertions, either scientific or religious. G.J. Wynn Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.